Well, good morning, everyone. Hope you are doing good and having a great week. To all my returning subscribers, thank you for your support. And to all our viewers and those recently subscribed, thank you and welcome to the channel. So today I'd like to talk about vintage silvers, specifically about the series of vintage silvers that you might like to collect for your own collection. Right on your screen, you can see my box of vintage and generic silver rounds, the collection of which I started at the beginning of last year, 2023. And with the box open, here are all the silver rounds in question. And for this video, we'll be concentrating on this tray over here, which contains some of the series that I feel you should be taking a look at if you are planning to get into collecting these vintage or generic silver rounds. But before we get to this tray, I'd just like to put it out there that I do have a crowdfunding page on Buy Me A Coffee, the link of which you can find in the description text of my YouTube homepage. So go ahead and click on that and have a look. And I would appreciate any support that you guys can give as this channel here is not monetized. Okay, with that all done, let's go ahead and talk about these uh, vintage silver rounds that are on this tray right over here. Now, before I start with this review, I'd just like to cover a couple of things. All these uh, vintage silver rounds are from the United States. Uh, some of them can be quite expensive, although quite a lot of them are actually uh, found in the bullion stores or the coin stores in their generic bins. Uh, these uh, rounds can be quite affordable if you can find them in that way. However, if you are outside the United States, uh, these uh, designs over here can actually be quite difficult to find and they do carry quite a large premium. Uh, with that out of the way, uh, let me just uh, say that for this review, I'll be talking at length with these uh, three silver series and I'll be touching on the other two series that are on this tray over here. The first of these series is from the Inglehart Prospectors then the second is the AMA Liberty Bell. And the final series that I'll be talking at some length is the Johnson Batty Bill of Rights series. Alright, now let me start with the ever popular Inglehart Prospector series. For many of you out there in the community, this series is probably quite familiar to you. However, for the benefit of those who may not be familiar with this series, I'll just quickly go through some details about it. Uh, this series was started by Inglehart in 1982 and ended in 1987. And if you're looking to collect uh, these uh, silver rounds, there are actually uh, seven uh, different designs to collect for the uh, one ounce silver rounds. The first of these are the ones from 1982. These will have the E logo uh, back for Inglehart. Next, we have the very desirable Inglehart Prospector from 1983. Uh, these rounds are quite rare and they are considered to be the key for the series. I have almost uh, given up hope of finding uh, one of these uh, rounds, but this round over here was generously uh, given to me by Stack That Gold. So to SDG, uh, thank you very much again. A premium for this round can be extremely high. So uh, this was an extremely generous gift from Stack That Gold. Moving on, we have the Prospectors from 1984. And for this year, there's two different designs to collect. You have the one with the E logo back, which you saw with the other two rounds that I showed you. And then we have the follow on issue, which has the eagle back. And this is the reverse that you see for all the subsequent rounds in this series. Here we have the round from 1985 with the eagle back. And for this year, Inglehart produced these rounds also in fractionals silver. Uh, you can find uh, rounds in 1 tenth ounce quarter ounce or half ounce, I believe. So that will actually, uh, if you are looking to get into fractionals, uh, that will actually make another collection if you like to expand on your Inglehart Prospectors. Here we have the round from 1986, again uh, with the Eagle bag. And finally, here we have the last issue of the Inglehart Prospector series, which was uh, released in 1987, also with the Eagle bag. Uh, these uh, rounds for this year can also be quite difficult to find. So I was uh, actually quite lucky to uh, come across this round uh, right here in Singapore. The second vintage silver series that you might want to consider taking a look at is the AMA Liberty Bell uh, Silver Rounds. For this series, there are actually uh, nine different designs to collect. The series started from 1982 and it ended in 1989. In addition to those eight dated silver rounds, there are also one with the same design which has no date on it. So to collect uh, all the uh, rounds for this series, you'll be looking at nine different designs. 
Over here, we have the second issue of the series from 1983. Here's the one from 1984. Then we have the Liberty Bell from 1985. And finally, for my collection, I have this Liberty Bell here from 1986. So currently for my collection, I'm missing the Liberty Bells from 1982, 1987, 1988, 1989, and the AMAC Liberty Bell with no date. The third vintage series I'm looking to complete for my collection are the Johnson Maddie's Bill of Rights Silver Browns. This series consists of 10 different designs, all of which illustrates the rights as listed out in the US Constitution. And for the 10 different designs, six of them will have the word freedom right on top, while five will have the words the right. For this first silver design, I have the right to vote. Next, we have the right to counsel. And here we have the right to trial by jury. You can see that all these rounds are beautifully designed. I only have three of the designs with the words the right right on top. And the ones that I'm missing currently from my collection is the right to bear arms and the right to privacy. Next, we have the designs with the word freedom right on top. There are six different designs, although I just have two of them in my collection currently. Over here, we have the freedom of speech. And here we have my recent acquisition from the Diamond District in New York City, a freedom the American way. The other four designs that you need to look out for if you wish to complete this series are the freedom from slavery, freedom of assembly, freedom of religion, and finally, the freedom of the press. So that completes my review for the three different vintage series that I'm looking to complete for my collection. I've already completed the Inglehart Prospector series with the uh, very uh, generous gift from uh, Stack That Go. And for the uh, Airmark Liberty Bell and for the Bill of Rights uh, Johnson Matthews uh, Silver series, I do have a number of designs uh, yet to find. Uh, let's move on now and talk about the other two series that you can consider if you are looking to uh, get into collecting uh, British uh, silver rounds. And the first of these is the Sunshine Mining uh, Eagle series, which I only have one. Again, uh, this was a recent acquisition from the Diamond District. Uh, this round here is from 1990. There's actually quite a number of years for these uh, uh, silver rounds. And uh, if you'd like to learn uh, more about uh, these uh, designs, the content creator, a Silverstruck, actually has a video where he talked at some length about the Sunshine Mining Eagle Silver Rounds. Finally, uh, let's talk about these extremely desirable Hoffman & Hoffman Silver Rounds. Uh, these rounds are extremely collectible, uh, quite desirable as I mentioned before, and they do have a very low mintage. For this series, I believe there's four different designs that you can look out for. I do have two of them. Over here, we have the Hoffman & Hoffman Unicorn, which I believe was uh, issued out in 1981. Both these rounds are the same. And over here, we have the Hoffman & Hoffman, uh, what they call as the Star Silver Crown. For this design, there's two different types to look for. The a rarer one is the one with the three dots, as uh, listed out in uh, the Awesome website, allinglehart.com, while the other one will have a single dot. I've yet to come across a deal for that silver round with a single dot, but if I do find one, I'll probably add that to my collection. Uh, these rounds were uh, issued out in 1981. I believe the single dot was uh, released in 1980. In addition to that, we do have the Silver Brown from Hoffman & Hoffman, known as the Liberty Eagle. Uh, those rounds will not have the words uh, Hoffman & Hoffman on it, 
So it's not something that I will probably add to my collection. So when I do get the Hoffman & Hoffman Star Silver Brown with the single dot, I will consider that my collection for these Silver Brown to be complete. And with that, I guess that will do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed my review of the vintage Silver Series that I'm currently looking to complete for my collection, as well as some explanation about these series, uh, some of these series that you might want to look at if you are looking to get into stacking uh, these uh, vintage Silver Rounds for your own Silver Stack. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, don't forget to leave me a like if you've enjoyed this content. And be sure to hit that share and subscribe buttons down here if you have not done so. As always from everybody over here, you always take care, be safe and have a nice day.